Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Crystal Castle style track in Ableton Live. So first off, I'm just going to play you part of the track here for you so you can listen to what we're going to make. And then I'll go through it and show you how I made all the sounds. All right, here we go. <laughs> So let's get started here. So first off, we'll just start with the drums. The drums are super easy. Um, you kind of just use samples that you like. Um, but from what I hear, it sounds like Ethan uses a lot of drum machine uh, type samples. So for this track, I'm using Lindrum samples that I found, um, but you can use whatever. Um, and what I use, I use battery here to load my drums. Um, and here you can see I'm using Lindrums, but in Ableton, if you want a good kit, is the 707 kit. So if you just go to Instruments, Kits here, the 707 Classic, uh, that one sounds really good. So if you want to use those ones, go for that. Um, and so basically it's just kick, snare, hat, super easy. So I'll just solo the drums and see what you can, see what they sound like by themselves. <laughs> So yeah, they're super easy there. Um, next, we'll go into the bass, which is my favorite part. So here's the bass. I'll solo for you and play it. Um, so for the bass, a lot of times, um, Ethan will do octave. Use, uh, use octaves on every eighth note, as you can see here. Um, and so that octaves just gives you that kind of bouncy type sound. It kind of comes from like the 80s synth pop style stuff. And then what I created, this is a massive, but you could use any synth. Like you could use analog in Ableton for this sound. Um, but the way I did it, uh, I used three oscillators here. They're all saw wave oscillators. And then for the second two, oscillators I detune them and the detuning just gives you kind of more of that wavy sound um, so here I'll solo it here without the tuning of zero kind of just more straightforward sound um, and then if you go back to just detuned a little bit kind of just spreads it out a little bit and then also I like to use this classic tube here and the dimension expander just gives it a little more grit and power. So with them off it sounds like this. So yeah, you just get a little more up with this. And then the other main thing to do with the bass here is side chain compression. Um, so with sidechain compression, if you don't know what that is, I sidechained the bass to the kick. So whenever the kick hits, the bass will drop in volume. So I'll show you here. Without the sidechain. And with sidechain. And then with it soloed with the drum. If you don't know how to do side chain compression, you'll just throw a compressor on the bass. Um, you'll throw it on there and it'll look like this. You want to hit this arrow here, hit side chain, and then for audio from, 
that's where your the input into the side chain is going to be you want to choose your kick so you'll choose you know your kick track and then you want to lower your threshold under where it's peaking here uh, bring your attack all the way down bring the ratio up a little bit and then mess with the release and ratio and threshold uh, until you're getting that sound you like so next I'll go into one of the synth parts I have for it um, I like to call them bloops here let me solo and show you the sound kind of a chip tuny sound that Ethan likes to use um, I'll show you how I made mine here I used massive again but again you can use any synth to make this sound so for me I did square waves and again here I just detuned the second and third oscillator just to spread out the sound a little bit and to get that kind of chip tune sound what I did was use an LFO I used a square wave LFO and put it to the pitch and detuned it down an octave so it's almost like an arpeggiator and then made the ratio here 1 16th another thing I like to do is in the voicing tab I'll turn up the unison up to 2 and I'll use this pan position here and I'll take this slider all the way to the right or left and then it kind of just spreads out the sound so again we hear it without the pan position it's just centered with it on it spreads it out and then again I use the classic tube here and the dimension expander all right and then Let's go to the next synth sound here. Let me solo it up in context with the song. So this is another easy synth. Um, this one is just two s two square waves, um, and the second square wave is detuned here. Um, and the voicing, I did the same thing, unison to two and put it over to spread it out and then I use my classic tube and dimension expander there so that's a really easy sound and then next we'll go into the guitar sound that I created here let me solo it up and in context with the song <laughs> So this was a fun one to make. Um, I actually, for this sound, found the guitar part for Seven Nation Army and sampled it up. So we'll zoom in. So this is part of the chopped up guitar part here. Just brought it over here so I can spread it out all the way and take a listen. So that's Seven Nation Army uh, just tuned up seven semitones. And so if I detune it here, you can kind of hear the original there. Um, and then another thing I do is use the Redux um, plugin, which you can find up here. Just audio effects, Redux, Redux, however you say it. Um, so it's just bit reduction. So this is how mine looks uh, on this one, but messing around with it um, You get that cool kind of distorted down sampled crystals castle style um, So yeah, but for this guitar part I just Ended up chopping it up and tuning it different ways. So this one up seven semitones again then over here down five semitones Cool. And then for the last part, I will show you how I did the vocals. So the vocals, uh, this was another fun one. I actually found the vocals to We Are the People by Empire of the Sun. So let me solo up. What I ended up chopping up and throwing into the song.
So what I did was just kind of chopped up random parts uh, to create that sound. So here I'll just show you, for example, take this main section, we're going to solo it. We are the people that rule the world. And what I do is right click on it and do slice to new mini track. And then I'll do transients here and hit OK. And so now you can see it just creates it as a MIDI track. So I'll solo up this one. We are the people that rule the world. So it just made it into a MIDI track. And then what I'll do, I'll kind of just delete this. And now you can play it on your keyboard. So you can just play it. So what I did, I kind of just listened to the track and messed around, playing with those on my keyboard and found something I liked, um, and got a full, full part out of it. Um, so I think that goes through everything I made for the song. Um, if you want to hear the full track, I'll put it um, in the description below and you can check out the full track. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Uh, I can go more into depth on any sounds I created or anything like that.